Are you serious? I'm back. Oh, yes, we're back here in the Salvation Station. You don't want to miss tonight's powerful broadcast. Starting at 10 p.m. Eastern, we'll be broadcasting across all of our channels, the direct radio line, Periscope, uh, new live stream, Roku Satellite Television, PaulBegleyProphecy.com, and yes, right here on this YouTube channel. But let me just say quickly, uh, what's going on with The View, guys? Seriously? What's Joy Behart doing? What? What did Joy Behart do? What'd she say? She's not only mocking Vice President Mike Pence, but she's mocking his prayer life with Jesus Christ, and she's mocking the Christians and their faith, calling his Christianity, his Christian faith, as mental illness. And oh, by the way, should we be speaking bad about people who are mentally challenged? I don't think that's what the left-wing leaning liberals are all about, are they? What? Well, my son's got a great article at the crusaderjournal.com. I'll put the link below. His headline, Vice President Pence says that the View co-host is out of touch for comments attacking his Christian faith as mental illness. Actually, United States Vice President Mike Pence says the recent comments made by the comedian Joy Behar regarding his Christian faith perfectly demonstrates just how out of touch she is compared to the rest of the country. It's just simply wrong for ABC to have a television program that expresses that kind of religious intolerance. Vice President Pence said, the Washington Times is reporting, Vice President Pence said that Behar's political views were aligned with some in the mainstream media, according to The Hill. And during an episode of ABC's The View, the host of the show debated if Vice President Pence had a mental illness regarding his Christian faith. The conversation was sparked in part due to recent comments made this week from former White House staffer Amarusa, as she said in an episode of the Celebrity Big Brother, Amarosa claimed that Jesus tells Pence to say things, which worried one of the show's co-hosts, Joy Behar. It's one thing, she said, quote, to talk to Jesus, but the View co-host Joy Behar said, during Tuesday's show, but it's another thing when Jesus talks to you. That's called mental illness. If I'm not correct, that's hearing voices. Fellow co-host Megan McCain attempted to stand up for the vice president, saying in part that Jesus speaks to her every morning. Well, uh, folks, uh, anyway, uh, I'm glad Bart Begley wrote this article, and I'm glad that he's taking a stand that that's a, a very ridiculous thing to be said. But then again, uh, the mainstream, lamestream fake news media is going to say a lot of things. And a lot of things they're going to do is they're going to attack Christians. I can tell you there was a, they've been attacking different Christian ministries, different Christians of, who walk for the Lord in different uh, ways in life. And, um, and they will just flat out lie and they don't care to. And they expect you to believe them just because they're the New York Times or just because they're the Washington Post or they're the View or there's some other left-wing leaning liberal broadcast or uh, newspaper or some other kind of MSNBC. I mean, all of these, CNN, the president has called CNN fake news time and time again. What really is strange, though, when Christians would believe some of these left-wing leading liberal media outlets over, they would rather believe them over their own Christian brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I don't know what to do but to pray. And uh, the Bible says, uh, let me just tell you something, Vice President Mike Pence is getting ready to be blessed like you wouldn't believe. I mean, the Bible says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. He said, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So uh, get ready to be blessed, Mike. Who knows? Maybe Mike Pence will be the next president of the United States. Would it be great if America had eight years of President Donald Trump 
and then eight years of that Christian faith walking, Jesus talking, vice president, if he became president, Mike Pence, eight years of Pence after eight years of Trump, that might push the new world order over the cliff for at least 50 years prophetically. Are you serious? Pray for Joy Behar. She really needs prayer. Seriously, I mean this all my heart. And I'm going to ask Jesus to talk to her. I w- he will. He'll come to her in the middle of the night. Are you serious?